Hey everyone, this is iPad, this is the Magic Mouse, and let's talk about how you can scroll using this mouse on the iPad. At first, you also have to make sure that the iPad is uh, connected to the mouse and you can see that it is activated, it works. If you want to see how it works and how you can pair and connect it, make sure to check out one of my videos, which is going to be down below in the description. There, I'm going to explain exactly how you can connect it. Anyways, scrolling is very easy because here you don't have like a like a circle or like a wheel, scrolling wheel or anything. Obviously, the surface of the Magic Mouse is capacitive, so you can just grab it like this and you can see it's the same thing as if I moved my finger on the top of the screen. Everybody probably understands that, but there are also some settings which you can definitely tweak to make sure that it is according to your liking. Because, for example, you can go to your general settings in here, and here you can see trackpad and mouse. So, one of the things is natural scrolling, which is basically the direction in which you swipe or move your finger across the, the surface of the Magic Mouse. I have the natural scrolling, so it can be demonstrated the best on this moving panel of uh, toggles in the, the settings so watch my finger on the mouse if i swipe up i go from the bottom to the top so from down to up like this and you can see that i'm scrolling naturally therefore natural scrolling as if i did it with my finger to go the other way around just the other direction but if you disable it let's say i'm going to turn off natural scrolling now when I come back right here and I go like this again, I'm going up, so it's it's a bit weird because, you know, if I do it with my finger, it goes, it goes the other direction. If I do it with my mouse, it goes there, so it's completely backwards, it's reversed. Some people may find it better that way, but I don't personally think that it's actually the best way to go about it. Okay, so one thing that may be kind of confusing is the speed, so you can see the tracking speed. Speed. I have it at 60% usually, which is fine for me, but let's say you're going to make it the slowest one possible. You can see that I have to move the mouse a lot to move somewhere, but it has no impact on scrolling. So as you can see, I can scroll with the exact same speed. I mean, it doesn't have any effect on it. So you can see it moves really slowly, but you can also do it like this. Okay, let's come back and let's make it 60% again, which is what I like. Okay, so I'm gonna come back to the home screen and the thing is that you are not limited to just like sliding your finger across the capacitive area, the surface of the mouse. You can also just click the mouse and move the entire mouse. This is also possible and this is also another way how you can scroll on your iPad. So if you don't like just swiping the finger, you can also use the entire mouse and click and move. But we need to take a look at one more setting, which you can find, of course, here. And by clicking on accessibility, you can see if you go to accessibility, you have here the pointer control. Because basically this thing right here is the pointer. You can see that what I'm pointing at is the cursor. The pointer is right there. So click on pointer control. And you have a couple of things. We have the pointer animations increase contrast, color, and stuff, but the most important thing in, in here for us is the scrolling speed. So you can see you can increase it however you want. And now it just scrolls a bit faster. If you make it slower, you can see that I have to like move my finger a lot on here to actually move somewhere. I mean, you may not see it that way on the screen or on the video, but it really does make a difference. Because right now you can see I can just just barely touch it and it goes the entire way and if you have it just slow like this you can see that it does barely nothing because it's a lot slower so this is also another thing which you can play around and it has to do with the scrolling so yeah i don't think that there are any other things you may be wondering about in terms of scrolling and using the magic mouse with the ipad hope i helped you out and if you want to see more videos about the way how you can use the magic mouse on your ipad make sure to check out this video right here where i explain the stuff in depth and i go more about how it actually works and stuff so definitely check it out and also subscribe to Fox Tag YouTube channel because I always try to provide you value in my videos. So if you find it valuable, make sure to hit the thumbs up and also subscribe. So yeah, thanks a lot. See you guys in the future.